The Great Seal of the United States was first conceived in 1776 by the first committee, which was Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. It was conceptual. There were no art depicted. And in 1778, the second committee met, and Francis Hopkinson, he drew the pyramid. He was the designer of the, one of the first flags. He was a federal judge of Pennsylvania. And he drew the reverse side. And in 1782, there was a third committee. And William Barton, a Pennsylvania lawyer, redesigned the pyramid. And on June 20th, 1782, Charles Thomason, Secretary of the Continental Congress, submitted the final design of the Great Seal. And it was approved immediately. And a die was cast that summer. Um, some are not sure about the date, but they think by September. Now, it's interesting to note here that the original eagle was not really an eagle, but it was rather a phoenix. And the dye was used up until the 1800s when it was wore out. Now, the reverse of the, of the seal was never made according to everything I could find. There was never really a die cast with the reverse on it. Now, of all the men that are on the committee, only one was a Mason, and that was Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin submitted a design in Conceptual in 1776 that was never really put to art until later of the Israelites fleeing Pharaoh across the Reed Sea. And this was later put to art, and it was rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. But this was rejected um, by the committee. And on the dollar bill, there was no, no seal depicted. But in 1935, the reverse seal with the pyramid was never revealed to the American public. They never got to see that until 1935 when Franklin Delano Roosevelt created a new design and the pyramid was revealed. Um, now the conspiracy with the pyramid and you will find that there's Masonic symbolism within the pyramid and within the design. And as I stated, it's odd because Franklin was the only Mason, but, but when you look at the design of the pyramid, the most famous are the letters A N O S M in a six-pointed star around the pyramid with with the poem from Virgil, the saying of Virgil's poem. And um New World Order is what everybody says, but it it's it's an order of the ages and it's a new age. They're creating a new age in the country. But the anagram says Mason. It is interesting. Um there seems to be some type of, it could be a conspiracy to create a conspiracy. I'm not sure. Um, Franklin's design was not accepted. All the names have been gone through and there is no other Mason that can be verified. Thomas Jefferson was not a Mason. And uh, John Quincy Adams, of course, John Adams, um, we spring from there, from John Adams, um, they hung up, they headed up the anti-Masonic party, um, which became the Whig party and which became the modern day uh, Republican party. So there, there seems to be some kind of false flag going on here um, to show some type of Masonic symbolism. Now, the most interesting part of, of the pyramid, and this is a conspiracy. This has been going around for quite a few years, and I noticed it died, um, but it was popular about 2000. If you take the base of the pyramid, first of all, first of all you can get um, DC, which is 600, LX, which is 60, and the last two letters, VI, which is 6. So you get 666, and it leaves out some letters there, MCX, I think it is. Um, which is 1,110. 
I mean, you get into some really strange geometry going on here. And you'll see a lot of sites that talk about the geometry of the pyramid. There's a bunch of hidden sacred geometry. Well, of course there is. You know, it's um, it's not a perfectly square pyramid, but it does have the same qualities of, that you would have of a pyramid. It's more of an Atlantean, um, old age Lemurian type of pyramid. But at the base of the pyramid is 1776. And the theory goes is the 13 tiers are 13 years. Now, what I did was I listened to this before, and it's supposed to have ended in 2012. Um, and it is interesting because Roosevelt made, he's the one that revealed it. And of course, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a Freemason. Um, he was a Scottish Rite Mason. So, and the 33rd degree Mason. So, I can't verify. I'm off the top of my head, to be honest with you. You know, as as a 32nd degree Mason, I can look at this stuff and I can I can read into it all day long, but I cannot verify that there was any type of nefari nefarious in, intentions here. Um, the the pyramid was already made, as I had said, by William Barton and Francis Hopkinson in 1778 and 70, 1782. So, and these men were not Masons. Um, the all-seeing eye has been around for a very long time. Uh, pyramids have been around for a very long time. Um, it's not just a Masonic symbolism. In fact, the all-seeing eye was not a Masonic symbol um, in the late 1700s. Um, it was more of a Catholic symbol. And 1776 also happens to be the date that Adam Weisskopf um, founded the Bavarian Illuminati, which tried to infiltrate Masonic lodges by bringing Masons into the Illuminati to make ritual for him. And it failed. Um, he upset a, a lot of other groups besides the Freemasons. So the Illuminati failed in 1776, but the United States was not founded officially until 1789. Um, so it was the 1780s when, when the U S was, was actually a country but if you take the pyramid and you go from 1776 and you take each tier as being 13 years, you come to 1945, which is interesting. You got a glowing eye there. Uh, the atomic bomb was dropped in 1945. Then you have what is known as the gap years. And those gap years, I took the 64 pixels, divided them by, I averaged first off, it's 329 pixels from the base to the top of the unfinished pyramid. If I divide that by 13, it averages out to be 25.3. So I'm going to use 25.3 pixels as one thirteenth of a tier. There are just a 13 tier, one of the steps. So I took 64 pixels between the bottom of the eyeball to the top, and that comes out to be 64 pixels divided by 25.3 is 2.5. So that brings me to 1977.5. So then I took the eyeball, which is 132 pixels from the bottom up to the top. I divided that by 25.3 and I get 5.2. I multiply 5.2 times 13 years, it's 67 years. It comes out to 2044. So it's actually 2044.6. So at, this pyramid was supposed to have been done in 2012. Um, that was the conspiracy that I had always read and been written in books. Um, there's, there were tons of articles on this in, in the 90s about how the uh, the Masons had, are taking over the world. And just and so it, there seemed to be a lot of Catholic flair to it, a lot of anti-Masonic propaganda going on. And I was kind of interested that John Adams was involved in the first committee and Franklin's idea was rejected. Now, Franklin didn't like the bird. He thought it looked like um, a turkey. It was a poor representation of a phoenix. And he'd also recommended that the national motto, uh, the, the bird, the, the animal, should have been a rattlesnake. But um, he felt that that symbolized more of the Native American spirit. But Franklin's ideas were rejected. And there seems to be some kind of red herring going on here um, to make it look like, and you'll hear this novus ordo seclorum means um, we're ushering in the new world order. It doesn't mean that. Um, that's not what it means. To point, it's a line from Virgil. Um, it's an order, new order of the ages.
But, you know, people don't really spend the time to look at this and they think that this was involved somehow with a bunch of Masons came up with this seal. And it's quite the opposite. But it does seem to, to point a lot of Masonic symbolism in there, which is kind of interesting. And um, you'll read articles that say that Masons know what this is all about. Um, to be honest with you, I've been through a lot of stuff in Masonry and this is never even talked about. Um you know, we don't know when the end's coming. Nobody knows. I mean, we're building a country. It's not finished. Um, where it goes from here, you know, it's up to God. God's the one that laid the foundation for this country. And, you know, that's in that's in God's hand. And that's the eye of providence that, that is a symbolism in, matri- in masonry. Um, you know, it, it depends upon what God is doing. And we don't really have a timetable. There's no way to look at it. But it is interesting um, somehow or another, I'd come up with some fancy numbers, some different numbers that weren't quite as precise that came out to 2024, which I couldn't reproduce again. I don't know how I did it, but um, it came out to 2024 as the top of the uh, I, I capstone there. But that's interesting because the, the, the last X eclipse is coming across in 2024. But this conspiracy seems to have died, but I just thought, you know, it should be passed on and looked at. And, you know, the 1776 date, you'll see this eyeball with the Illuminati and everything going on. And, you know, that's really where it's coming from. A lot of times it's the 1776 date. And the Illuminati is, is you know, the Masons are part of them, which I can assure you they're not. Um, it's kind of serious. But anyway, you know, I thought I'd pass this on and let people at least preserve this heritage but thanks so much for listening